talk about some more tricks with the symmetry modifier. Let's say I want to make a building and it's got four, uh, all four sides are even, all four sides, the base of the four sides are even. So it'd be like making a box, say, and just typing values over the two, two, like this. So let's say I want to have a building where everything is detailed and mirrored and all similar on each side. So I can do this with the symmetry modifier, but we need to set it up in a particular way. So let's look at that. So I've got my plane again, and I've added the symmetry modifier. And let's move the symmetry modifier so I can rotate my mirror plane. So if I've got, um, here we have angle snaps. So if I turn this, oops, not that one, that one. If I turn this on, um, I can select the sub-object mirror and rotate my mirror plane and this will make a corner for me uh, but you can see you hopefully you can see that my corner is now centered in the middle of the, of the um, building so when I try and add my other symmetry mod then everything kind of collapses in on itself so what I need to make sure is that I move my plane uh, whoops, where's it gone? Ooh, come back. Everything's vanished because it's all been sliced to death. Let's just turn that off. There we go. So um, my mirror plane is right in the center of the building and we get this kind of very odd shape. So I need to make sure that I move my mirror plane forward and you can see what happens if I do that. So this happens, uh, which is getting there. So let's just look at the corner again. So that's the mirror plane for my corner. And you can see that um, it's doing exactly what it says and it's mirroring around here. So again, I want to keep my mirror plane in the center of the object. So um, can we see edges? No, it's too, too, there we go. Um, so I need to make sure that I rotate my mirror plane in the right direction. So let's now rotate it 90 degrees the other way. And you can see it goes all the way over here and there. So now we've got that shape. Uh, and now I can add multiple symmetry modifiers on top, remembering that I can cut and paste. So copy, paste, and let's select the next axis. So now we've got the base of the building, and I just have to worry about clipping my corners. So go back to mirror here, slice along mirror plane, and I should get that. If I don't get that, I'll get this. And I just make sure that I um, choose to flip the axis in the right way. Uh, so you can see at the moment my edges are hard. And that's because... Um, I haven't got weld seam on this corner. So if I just turn these off you can see that um, if I weld the seam it will smooth across the edges so it can be helpful to leave this off um, uh, just at this stage okay so now I can kind of go on and I can uh, just modify my building and give it some shapes so let's add another edit poly modifier and uh, so I could say let's grab these faces so I can make a little kind of uh, bottom part to it just by dragging it back uh, and then uh, let's turn off in fact let's just turn off smoothing altogether so clear all clear, uh, what's going on let's select everything clear all, there we go um, so yeah I can make it some sort of sci-fi building shape by dragging this down I can also, so remembering where I am, like so it's important to remember what you're actually modeling on because it can get very confusing. So I'm only modeling on this bit even though I can see the other bit. Um, so if I turn this off, I can select these two edges. This is what's gonna happen, I'm gonna do this. But when I've got my show end results on, I actually get this. 
and I can turn those guys back on again and I've got a rooftop. So another trick is with that little roof edge is if I show end results off again. So you can see I've got that bit selected. If I do this here, when I turn it on I get this. My little mouse thing is getting in the way, but you get the idea. Which is kind of fun. Um, so I can select all that, say, and just drag all that upwards. So remember what I have to now flip between these two different states now. So I've got um, my actual bit of model and what's going to happen to it. So, and this is the whole kind of cool stuff about parametric modeling. So and now I can just drag that down and get that into shape. Flip back and forth a bit. And, and now I'm getting some sort of building. Now I can carry on adding like, say it's like add another swift loop here. And like here. So, and I've done this a lot, so I don't find it as confusing as perhaps it is to watch, but so uh, now I can select this, whoops, select this one face here. Where's it on the face? There you go. And when I drag it back, you'll get that result. And that's getting a bit more interestingly sci fi. Maybe like that. Yeah, maybe like that. And the same with the bottom, maybe perhaps as well. Just drag that back. So there you have it. There's there's my tricks with um, symmetry for modeling um, evenly sided objects.